Hello, YouTube. Now, it's been a while since I've done a ammo shortage video, but plenty, plenty of ammo out there. I see it at Cabela's, I see it at our local gun shop, but man, I am not going to pay those prices yet. So hopefully, I hope that ain't the new. I, I just really, really hope that's not what we're going to have to get used to. Is this $20 a box for 9 mil? Just crazy, you know, 35 bucks for 357s. But, plenty of ammo out there. But I cannot find dove loads. So, I've been reloading. A lot of my own dove loads and to try to find uh steel is crazy steel dove loads this is a uh, two and three quarters seven shot steel and I'm using a uh, 24 grains of long shot and non-zinc plated seven using a wad from precision reloading get that done where was i oh the my granddaughter comes in here always wants to help it's so hard to, to do this and to have her here you have to have your concentration not so much with the shotgun but the other stuff it's no, and I do know that it says like double lot buckshot on here, but I just reloaded it with uh, number seven steel. And I put an ounce load in. But I was messing around today and I loaded up uh, a three inch seven. Now I had to come up with something. You know, uh, there's a lot of extra space in here, so I ended up using a. Uh, a spacer wad in between the powder and the wad two of them and then uh, the wad and then the shot and I got these like right before the pandemic these three inch shells back when we could still get them they're a low brass but we already took a handful out and shot them but I had to do some modifications to the drop um I forget what number's in here, but I got it to drop 26 grains. And uh, this one is just seven shot. And it's just dumping about an ounce and an eighth. Yep, I went with a little heavier load. I always give it a tap and put it in. And these are already primed. When I bought them, I bought them primed. It's not too terribly more expensive. And I take it back out. That's about 26 grains of the long shot. Put the spacers in. I got to use a felt wide. Put the wide down in there, right? Push that in. Dump it. Give it a little pack. Now on. The smaller shot, before I crimp it, and you can see that looks that looks pretty good. You want you want your shot to be below your wad on steel. You don't want your steel above the wad or rubbing it. You you want your shot to stay in that wad until it gets out of that gun. Steel, it, it's it's a mushier steel, but it isn't. It's still it's going to cause a lot more friction between your shotgun. Barrel heats up, barrel wears out. And I, that big deal. It's just a shotgun. But the chokes are. So I use a a spacer, and then I like the eight or the six inch crimp instead of the eight. And that's it. 
26 grains of long shot, number seven steel, federal, and it says buckshot on these too, but I bought these before the pandemic and I never thought I'd be putting steel shot in it for dove. But we went out and hit a few clay pigeons with them. Feels like a three inch that you're shooting. Hit the clay pigeon, gosh, awfully easy. And I like more shot in a shell. You fill in the pattern. When your pattern's got holes in it is when you're going to have You always just fill in your pattern. So. She keeps coming in here and asking me questions. But I can't find dove loads. And in the state of South Dakota, you got to use steel on, dove, on public land now. And we don't have any private land to hunt. We have always hunt public land. So. And don't don't go buy my recipes. This I'm not responsible for the things you do. I don't do that. I'm not telling you how to do it. Go buy a book. You know, I'll go talk to guys that done this. I wish I had more people in my area that reloaded shotgun. And especially steel. I don't know. And you know, I hate to say this, but that's the way it's going to be here soon, you know. I think California is a lead-free zone now, too. So, can you shoot steel in California at all? Heck if I know. But, got to use steel on public land in South Dakota. And it is early pheasant season opened up for the um, those pheasant farm so you go there but you got to call the game warden game warden comes out and counts your birds seen people do that last weekend man i don't know we're ready for dove season and then duck opener but i've been finding some duck sh shot in boxes federal duck shot but when it comes to dove loads this year none when it comes to skeet load this year none it's like it's all been bought out so well thanks for watching